Well, it's a rainy morning. Yep, that's pretty much all it is. It was just pouring really good just a little while ago, but now it looks like it's sort of settled down a little bit, but it's still raining. <clears throat> so it's just uh, about a little bit past 10.30 a.m. on Sunday. So I thought I'd make this video for my uh, uncle Eric. <clears throat> uh, I noticed that uh, he called he called me yes called me yesterday, left me a voice message. So I wasn't able to get back to him because I was at the Texas Motor Speedway for uh, uh, last night's uh, Samsung Mobile 500 race, which if y'all. If any of y'all are NASCAR fans, y'all watched it, saw Greg Biffle won the race. So I want to congratulate him. Better him than Jimmy Johnson. We're not, none of us are Jimmy Johnson fans. Sorry. Alright. So uh, let me, uh... So I ended up uh, texting my uncle, I ended up texting my uncle while I was uh, at the racetrack, so let me put my camera in macro. I asked him on what his question was. <clears throat> so that's what it says. I have a trim built trimmer, nine years old. One of the lines on the fuel tank snapped in half. Do you know where I could find parts? Now I think I think he probably means uh. I think he must have meant to say Troy built. So I'm not sure. Uh, I would say probably it's, I think he might have meant to say Troy built. So, uh, so here's where I go for uh, getting replacement parts it is partstreet.com. Definitely a good website. So this is their uh, home page right here. <clears throat> Here's all this, the equipment, all the brands of parts that they uh, carry. Pretty much a variety of them. So let's look for Troy Belt. So Troy Belt is right over here. So here's a little little list right here for all the stuff that they have shown right there so we'll click on uh, go to trimmers so it has like all the model numbers right here there's like a list here there's like a lot of them So what you just got to do, just got to try to look through this little list of all the model numbers. Or what you got to do, or if you don't really feel like trying to scroll down and look through all all of the model numbers, what you can actually do right right here just like look for the model number on your trimmer and like just click, I mean type type on your model number right here and then click on go and it should find it for you. I'll, uh, I'll click on one of these like if you would like if it's would be your actual model trimmer looks like on one looks like this is pretty much all it would have so here's like a general assembly apparently all it is is just just a shaft or engine assembly that shows 
like an engine assembly right here on a trimmer. So Eric, I'm not sure exactly on what your trimmer looks like. Maybe if you maybe send me a picture would probably be much more helpful though. But but as far as uh, finding uh, parts, I would definitely partstree.com would definitely would be the way to go. And one good thing about about them, see, there's their warehouse is over in uh, in Austin. So usually, since since we live here in Texas, they don't really take that long to ship, unless if they don't have the parts in stock. See, I go on here mainly just to get parts for the Echo equipment, just for the heck of it. I'll click on Echo. So here's all for the parts for Echo. Usually what I do, I just I just go on here just to type the model number. So just for an example, I'll uh, type I'll type SRM two twenty five. Whoa. Oh, I don't know what happened here. Hmm. Well, okay. Oh, I. Oh, shoot. I put 255. Oh, sorry about that. It's kind of hard to type with one hand and then hold the camera on the other. All right, so now 225. All right, there we go. So here's what here's this would be the model number, and these would be like the serial numbers. Now it's not necessary to uh, like find the. You don't really need the serial number. All you need is like the model number. Now for Echo, it'll give you much more stuff right here I think also since maybe being that if it's a a Troy built you could might possibly find possibly maybe a fuel line kit at Lowe's but I would would uh, I would just most likely go on partstreet.com would probably be much better that way <clears throat> and so uh, I hope this video will be real helpful and I hope you can get your uh, trimmer fixed so uh, alright so I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video so thanks for watching